really needed a new laptop. Um, I have no laptop at the moment, so I need something to edit all the videos and packs. MSI was nice enough to hook us up with a loaner. Uh, this one was open when I got it, but it's pretty much stock. Like all the different things that come pre-installed are all here, except the Open Broadcaster. I added that one, so I'll remove it. This is kind of the way it came. In this video, I'm going to show you what I do when I first get a laptop. This can help you on any model of laptop. A few initial steps to take. Uh, these are basic steps that help you clean up some of the bloatware and uh, get the laptop running nice and smoothly. And I'm also going to install a few programs. So hang out and let's do that. The first thing I always do is, this is just personal preference, but I always make this small. Pistol auto hides it, but that popping up and down makes me insane. So I did that. And then, uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to use Internet Explorer at least once to get online to download a few things. Now, this is Windows 8. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get a program called PC Decrapifier. Now, you can do this with a new machine or an old machine. Oh, I'm using Bing. Oh, good Lord. All right, let's go ahead and download that. See, I've got this Norton business going on. We're going to get rid of that in a moment, too. So PC Decrapifier should be... Uh, it's told it to run. Where is it? All right, we're going to go through this. Always read stuff, because you never know when it's going to install a toolbar or something. This program is all about removing all that crap. All right, here it asks if we're using this as a new PC. So I would check yes if it's a PC that you've never installed any programs on, or if it's a PC that you bought used that is not your own, or if it's a brand new PC from the store. Let's go ahead and click Next. Uh, yeah, you can create a restore point in case you break something. I would recommend doing this. If you guys break something, it's not my fault, and I will not take responsibility. All right, here's some of the junk that came pre-installed, Norton, Norton, and WinZip. I want to get rid of all this crap because I'm going to install my own programs that do the same thing uh, in a different way. Plus, I don't like Norton always asking me to register. Hey, if you just give us a little bit of money, you know, we'll do our thing. All right, removing those things. Removal process complete. Now, here's all the rest of the stuff that is on this computer. And you can go through and just put a check mark on everything you want to get rid of because I really don't use much of it, but I don't, I don't want the BlueStacks app player. I don't want Power DVD. I can't even think of the last time I've watched a DVD. Um, the Intel stuff, leave on there. Most of it is, you know, drivers, firmware, that sort of thing. You need that. Uh, don't want the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that on there. If you're not sure, leave it on there, but uh, for the most part, you can tell what it is. I don't want any of the Norton stuff. I'm going to get rid of all that. NVIDIA, that's my graphics card drivers. I'm leaving that. Open Broadcaster, that's what I'm with, you know, recording with right now. I'm going to leave this on there. There's a killer nick in here. There it is, the killer nick. So I'm going to leave these on there until I play with them a little bit more because I'm not familiar with them. See how they work, and if I like them, I'll leave them. If not, I'll just use the, uh, you know, the standard Windows network managing tools. Um, Sound Blaster Cinema. These are, yeah, I guess I can leave those on there. Supercharger, I want to leave that on there. That allows me to plug up any device to uh, you know, one of the designated USB ports and charge quickly. It works with most Android devices and all, uh, almost all the Apple devices that I'm aware of. And WinZip, I do not want WinZip. Okay. It's not quite a totally automated process. You have to keep clicking Next on a lot of different programs, but it, it does run the uninstallation application that comes with all of these programs. Just You're going to have to babysit it just a little bit, but it's much easier than going through and manually doing everything. It wants me to restart, and uh, the Norton programs... Ugh. We could probably do a restart after this is over, but it is good to restart after the Norton apps. I just don't want it to restart my PC to Crapifier process. So we'll restart once this is uh, finished. Yeah, let's get rid of this, too. Oh, yeah, wait! Oh, God, wait! But we're going to give you some stuff, man! No, Norton, you're not very good this year, unless you have the corporate version or the uh, enterprise version. No, please remove all user data, yes. I'm going to use my own damn... No, what is this business? No, I don't want any of your garbage. Agree and install. Wow, Norton, why don't you just... See, Norton is like one of those weirdos that you go home and he's waiting in your bed for you. Just like ready to gnaw and... No, get away from me. No, I don't want any of this. No, I don't want to tell you why. I just want it all gone. Yeah, so we have 52 days remaining. But now I'm making it zero days remaining because I don't want Norton. If you want Norton, go ahead and pay for it. Go out there and read some reviews first. It does come with the machine. And Windows is like, hey, dude, you've got, like, no virus protection. Shut up, Windows. I tell a computer what to do. The computer doesn't tell me what to do. All right, I've removed a bunch of Norton things. They all wanted me to restart, but I just told it to restart later. Sometimes you click cancel when it says, would you like to restart now? Just restart later. After this is done, we'll give it a good restart. And then we're going to start installing programs. It's always good to remove stuff before you install new things. 
Oh, Winzip, it like took me to their website. Look how cute. Like, please don't do this to us. The removal process is complete. You can submit some feedback here, like, yay, you guys are awesome or something. I'm just going to go ahead and click finish. All right, at this point, I'm going to reboot, but um, rebooting while I'm running Open Broadcaster would destroy the earth. All right, we're back in Windows. Now it's time to start making this laptop my own. So, you know, I, I, I like the uh, the MSI background. It's a little bit red for me, so I, I've got to do this. Got a new background. I'm happy. Oh, everybody's happy now. All right. Now let's start installing some of our own programs. I need to get rid of Internet Explorer as quickly as possible. It's a terrible thing to have. So I'm going to go to um, this one website called Nanite. Now, once you get to Nanite, you can download all kinds of different programs. Uh, it's really the best place to go when you first get a new computer. So here all, here's all the stuff. I want Chrome and I want Firefox. I need Firefox for when I'm programming or doing anything serious in Chrome for light browsing. If you want a messaging program, you can get that for media. Um, yeah, I'll get VLC. There's the K-Lite Kodak Pack, and there's also the Community Kodak Pack. I typically recommend this one. K-Lite can do a good job as well, but either one of these will be just fine. Uh, this one comes with uh, Media Player Classic, and I like that one, but I also like VLC for other things. So I'm going to get both of those. You know, you can get any of these runtimes you need. Uh, Java, I'll install that when I need it later. Imaging software, you know. Office is a trial version, of course. Uh, a lot of you guys are going to want to install OpenOffice or something like that. I do not use the PDF reader from Adobe. It bothers me. I use Foxit Reader. It's much faster. Now we can pick um, an antivirus. Avost and AVG are both good. You guys can also get, you know, Adaware, SpyBot. I'll get these as needed. I'm not going to be using this for too long, so I would not recommend either one of these. If you need a torrent program, do not use the newest version of um, of uTorrent. It's a mess. Get like version 2.2.1 or an older version or get an alternate client. Putty can be handy. Online storage. So you've got a lot of stuff that's uh, going on here. Now, um, I'm not going to install Steam from here because I like to install it into a, a separate directory. Whenever you install things from here, they all go into the default program files directory that they correspond to normally. I do want 7-zip because I did remo remove uh, WinZip. 7-zip is way better than all the other programs. And for other um, utilities, if you're on Windows 7, TerraCopy can be very handy. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff here. Launch is also um, handy for like Windows XP and stuff. Classic Start, I do not want Classic Start at all. And there's a million reasons why, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's go ahead and get this installer. So what this does now is it combines all that stuff into one executable file, and then it goes and downloads each one of them. See, now it's downloading Firefox, and then it's going to download Chrome and 7-Zip, and then it will install them all into their uh, default folders. Just, you know, one click and you're done. I'll go ahead and grab Steam now as well, because I do want Steam, but I like to install it into my games folder. And I cannot wait until Chrome is installed so I can get the hell off Internet Explorer. Install Steam now, dude. Yeah, let's do it. You should not install multiple things at the same time like this, so I'm going to just wait and install Steam after everything else is finished. All right, this is still doing its thing, so let's go get more stuff, why don't we? I'm going to go ahead and grab um, Start is Back. All right, just want to go to startisback.com. There it is. This does cost money. It's totally worth it. Don't argue with me. It's the only start button for Windows 8 that is just like the start button on Windows 7. It integrates deeply with the system. It doesn't run any processes in the background. Um, and there's a separate video on that. You guys can check out that video if you like. But it's far superior to all the other options. There's like 30 of them out there. And a lot of people argue with me, but it's senseless because it is the best. So go ahead and... Well, I'm going to wait on start is back until everything else is finished. Again, let Nanite finish before you start installing everything else. But I'm just downloading things to get them ready to go. All the MSI stuff I'm going to put into a separate folder for now. And this all came on the computer. And make my icons smaller because I like tiny icons. Everything's so much better. Yes. Almost done here. AVG might take a moment because it is, it's a, um, you know, antivirus program. And I would recommend getting Adaware or Adblock or something like that as well. But like I said, I'm only going to have this computer for a couple of days, and I don't want too many things running at the same time. Did I forget to get CCleaner? Is that on there? Right, the next program I want to grab is CCleaner. A very important and very handy program. Let's go ahead and click Download. You can just grab it from File Hippo. You don't need all this fancy stuff unless you really want it, but I don't need it. 
and just go ahead and grab the latest version here on File Hippo. There it is. That's all finished. Yay. All right, so Steam wants to install. I'm going to go ahead and install that before I do CCleaner. You know, everything in order. As soon as Steam is finished, we're going to install CCleaner. And I'll show you how to use that quickly. And then uh, that'll be the first, um, I guess, basic guide to just what I do when I first get my computer. After this, I'm going to install Adobe CC and a number of other productivity programs and then some games. And then it's pretty much good to go. But it didn't take very long. And um, I've already removed a lot of the bloat. I'm going to go through these MSI programs um, that are in this folder here later. I'm overloading the machine. I'm going to go through these programs later, uh, see which ones I want to keep. I'm imagining I'll keep some of them. Hybrid Power looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and then that's to change the colors on this schnazzy, bright, extremely colorful keyboard. I'll probably make that something a little bit more minimal and not so multi-bright colored. But yeah, I'll see which ones I want to keep out of there. And then it'll be mine, the way I like it. God, you take forever, man. I mean, you could install them at the same time, but, you know, people online say don't, and uh, readme files say don't, and then power users and stuff that always get mad at me for doing stuff like that, they say don't. But I'm going to do it. Don't need any of that. Yeah, start many shortcuts. Um, I run CCleaner on my own time. And uh, automatically check for updates. I do that on my own as well. You guys can check mark whichever ones you want. I'm going to run CCleaner and show you how awesome this program is and what you can do with it. When you first log in, or when you first start CCleaner, it's going to scan for all your internet cookies. You want to keep those because it'll be a huge hassle to you know have to log out of everything, or it's going to log you out of everything. You'll have to log back in every time you use CCleaner. So it's detecting all the cookies. All right. Now, a CCleaner, you can use it to clean up all the crap that's on your computer. All the, um, not the bloatware, but it's like the temporary files and stuff that build up. You can clean all those by just running CCleaner. It also cleans your internet history, your cache, uh, and all that. Go over here and you can fix problems in the registry. I've just removed a bunch of things. There may be some extra, you know, things floating around in the registry. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And it will allow you to create a, you know, restore point. So. There's a lot of junk, and I mean, this is a new computer. There's a lot of like empty, missing links. So let's go ahead and fix all those, you know, all those things. I always create a registry backup. It shouldn't take very long because it's a new machine. I'll just save it in the documents, and that's good. You can name the file whatever you like. Fix all the issues. All right, fixed all those issues. Let's go down here and take a look at tools. Um, this is a better way to uninstall your programs than using the uh, Windows option. Uninstall, whatever you like. So I'll be going through and uninstalling a few more things, I think. Startup. This is all the junk that starts with your machine. Like, I don't need Steam to start. I want to tell Steam when I want it to start, so I'm going to disable that. You can also delete them entirely. Just right-click and delete, but I just usually disable them until I am sure that I want it gone. Uh, AVG, that's my antivirus. I want that to start. Intel. Yeah, I'm going to let this stuff start. Microsoft. You, what is this business? System 32, I'm going to leave that alone. If you're not sure what it is, leave it alone. Uh, Radio Manager from MSI, I'm going to leave that until I'm sure exactly what it does, then maybe I can get rid of it. Sound Blaster Cinema, again, I'm going to leave that one until I'm sure what it is. I don't think I need it to start with the computer, though. It's nice that there's a Sound Blaster in this. That's pretty cool. So there's not a lot of crap going on. I removed most of it, but again, I'm going to go through and see what all these are and then let... Only the ones, uh, you know, that I need to start with the computer, start with the computer. All the rest of it I can open on my own, and um, it'll be faster, it'll start faster. So that's a quick overview of uh, CCleaner, keeping everything nice and clean. I think we've done quite a lot. Like I said, the next step is to start installing some productivity software like Adobe CC. Oh, start is back. Holy mother of everything holy. Grab a copy. It'll make you happy. I've already paid for it. You get five uh, installations when you pay, like, just a few dollars. I think it's three or four dollars. I don't know what it is. Buy it. Let's see. It's five bucks, five installations, or five PCs. Hey, there's my start button. <gasps> Look at that. Yes. I'm going to configure it. Why not? I like that one. Now, when you go into switching, there's a totally separate video on this. So go click on the screen and uh, see the separate video. I got rid of my charms. Look, no more charms that are coming up on Windows 8. 
it's it's so nice and let's make this 20 this is just the quick things that I do I want my downloads I don't care about that one network on there I don't care about recorded TV but I do want uh, start apps I don't even care videos and then I want uh, small icons so I'm going to uncheck use large icons because I like small icons okay and there we have everything look at that I'm very happy it's now my machine I can start doing stuff with it if you guys have questions always post them on the forum and uh, be sure to check out all the other videos you know like installing starters back and, and whatnot I'm leaving now you guys are just uh, hanging out if you're still here can't believe you watched this much of it hopefully this will keep you uh, running fast and hopefully it'll help you out when you get a new uh, new laptop. And again, this works with any laptop on the, in the world, except for probably the one you have.